great thing about Sheffield is no matter where you live, our little ones are so close to nature, so close to trees and woodland. I think they're incredibly lucky and incredibly fortunate. For kids to plant trees, one of the key things for us is that we make it accessible to all. Our priority is for education and to for accessibility and to get as many little ones involved and in nature as possible. But I think one of the key reasons for setting Kids Plant Trees up was so that we could get the little ones connecting with nature. So yes, we want to get loads of trees in the ground, but we also want the little ones to get their hands dirty and understand the importance of the tree. I basically like getting dirty because my legs are dirty, my arms are dirty, everything is dirty. <laughs> And um, when I like plant trees, I like putting the grass in back together. And when I look at it, I just look. I have a smile on my face. And I, I feel proud of myself. I feel like I think I've done a good job. We have done some big planting projects. We only started at the beginning of 2020 and we already have done a few big planting projects. One was at Manor Plainfields where we held a few events. You know, we turned up with our refreshments table hoping that people will come and help us plant a few trees. We had about 800 to plant on the day. People started trickling in uh, and by the end of the day we had 100, 120 each time coming to help us out. I kind of enjoyed how hard it was. It was kind of like a challenge. So like every 10 minutes, I would have planted like one tree, but that one tree can help millions of creatures. We're aiming at little children and making it inclusive for them. We want them to be involved at an early age and we feel if we can get little ones to connect with nature at an early age, our hope and aim and dream is that it secures the future for, for the planet and for, for, so that they understand what green jobs are and I only ever knew about gardening, um, whereas hopefully they'll be in protection and conservation and wildlife um, and habitats and I think the more they understand about that and the importance of that, um, the, the, the better the future for us all. being around nature because I like lots and lots of different animals and if it wasn't for nature then there wouldn't be any of my favourite animals. If we didn't have trees then the animals wouldn't have really have a place to live. They would have to have a hard life than a nice comfortable one.